crochet number 128 and I have a pattern in there and also a column which is really exciting here it is it's about mixing different yarn weights and tips and tricks and how you can do it and then we have the chevron boulevard shawl which is an example of mixing yarn weights as you mix a um, fingering weight yarn with a lace weight and then the lace weight is very um, it's almost like see-through so that's really nice and yeah I'm gonna be browsing through the rest of the magazine and the Scapey's Cowl of this year by Christina Harding is on the back page and it's beautiful absolutely beautiful <laughs> So I finished the neck cushion. Um, this is the inside. So I left a little gap here so I can turn it inside out. I've already washed it and now I just need to fill it. But uh, I think that's going to be a little bit tricky because uh, I have a whole bag of fiber fill, you know, toy filling. But uh, when I just put it in, it uh, gets a little bit lumpy so I'm wondering if I should fill it with something else or maybe I should um, sew a pillowcase to go in here <laughs> yeah or maybe I should fill it with um, like seeds or something uh, I know people, um, you know, you have these cherry, cherry seed pillows and, uh, you know, rice pillows. I don't know. I don't know what I want to fill it with. So, <laughs> I have to think about that. Um, I have also cast on for a sock. A little rainbow sock this is the yarn I did a little poll on my uh, Instagram stories because I didn't know whether to do a vanilla sock or a color work sock because I think color work would look really cute with this so I'm deciding for color work this is one of my own hand dyed yarns and it is the same yardage um, so it should be the same thickness. 
even though I think it's a little bit thicker than this yarn and I was afraid of that uh, because I'm going to use this as the, uh, as the pattern color so this is the background color and the pattern is going to be in this and you don't want the pattern color to be thinner uh, because then it will kind of pull back into the background so I'm just gonna see if it works out so I did the toe with the rainbow yarn as I thought that was fun and then I'm going to switch to this yarn um, for the background color and then I'll do little color pops with this so I'm gonna see if that works out and yeah I think that will be fun uh, or I hope it will be you've also seen me working on this sock the third sock in my subtle sock collection I made quite some progress so I did this whole bit in the first day I think that was Thursday or Friday and then um, I didn't work on it yesterday or today but I'm uh, up until the heel now so yeah that is the third one in my subtle sock collection and yeah I like it although the color work is very simple but um, I like how it looks and today so today is Sunday, but um, today is also the 20th of September, which marks my one year full-time design anniversary. <laughs> um, so we went out to celebrate last Friday. We had a lovely dinner at a Japanese steakhouse. That was really nice. Um, if you're ever in the Netherlands and uh, if you're ever in the southern part of the Netherlands, visit Kobe in Maastricht because it is just delicious um so that was fun we celebrated and then um yeah i hope to have a special kind of pattern or a special kind of workshop ready for my anniversary but um some things just take more time so that will be in the pipeline and i hope to share more in the next couple of weeks <laughs> Thank you.